Before we get started, a big thanks to this channel sponsor, SCB Guns and Ammo in Thomasville, North Carolina. These guys are huge helps to the channel. They let me have these, or not have them, they let me borrow these knives to bring a video to you guys and they help me keep the channel running. So big thanks to them. Hello everyone, welcome back to EDCNC. My name is Samuel and today I have another very exciting video for you. This time it's of the Civivi Terax. Let's take a look. Let's get started with the specifications of this blade. It is a drop point bead blasted blade in Nitro V. It is flat ground, so very good working blade there. The flat ground will make it very easy to slide through materials. And I really like the, uh, the blade steel choice, Nitro V. Very good tough blade steel. Edge retention somewhere about around 14C28 in. So I really like it. Good job on the blade choice. It has a stainless steel frame lock with a G10 inlay, and this G10 inlay isn't just there for looks, it's actually there for a purpose, so we'll talk about that a little bit later. Next, this has a deep carry reversible pocket clip, so lefties can get in on the fun now. Uh, it is the regular Civivi pocket clip, the long one they have, but I will say that a lot of the times when you clamp down on these clips, and we'll talk more about this in ergonomics, they give you a hot spot, this one does not. The body screws and pivot are T8, so that's very good, but bad thing is the pocket clip screws themselves are a T6 screw. I, I know that stinks, but at least they made the other body screws T8, so thumbs up for that. This is a flipper tab and thumb stud both for a deployment method, so very good. And again, we'll talk a little bit more about that G10 overlay having an effect on how you deploy the knife in a minute. Now one great thing about this knife is they did not put a lanyard hole on it. They did a lanyard bar, which is what every manufacturer should be doing. Unless your lanyard hole just adds to the aesthetics of the knife, it seems to get in the way most of the time and it's prioritized over the pocket clip a lot. So I don't like that at all. So I'm glad that they decided to do a lanyard bar on this. Well done, Civivi. So let's do some specifications real quick, get that out of the way, and then we'll move on to my thoughts on the knife. So, this has an overall length of 8 inches, a blade length of 3.48 inches, and a closed length of 4.52 inches. So it's almost 3.5 inch blade and just a little bit over 4.5 inches when it's closed. But one more thing I'd like to highlight is the thinness on this knife. Not the thickness, but the thinness. This knife is not much thicker than a Spyderco Spidey Chef. And that's pretty impressive. For this knife to be the size that it is and still only be a little thicker than a Spidey Chef is pretty impressive. I'll throw some B-roll in there so you can see it, but I really like that about this knife. I think it's gonna feel be very comfortable in the pocket. The ergonomics on this knife are really great. They did a good job. Like I said, it's really thin. The pocket clip falls to where it's, it's not a huge hot spot, if a hot spot at all, depending on your hands, of course. But I have large size hands, pretty large, and I still have a little bit sticking out the back here and that that pocket clip is not digging into my hand so I really really like that really well done let's talk a little bit about the jimping the jimping is pretty good on this knife but I wouldn't mind if it went up the blade another inch inch and a half for those really deep push cuts that you need to support your blade on it would be really nice to have it up there a little further but the jimping is okay where it is let's talk a little bit about the action the action on this knife whether you're deploying it or closing it is very impressive. This knife has the flipper tab and the thumb studs both, and both are really, really immaculate. I mean, it really impresses me how good they've done on the action in this thing. No blade play, no wiggle, no anything like that. No, no pivot lash. Let's talk a little bit about that G10 inlay that I was talking about. The wonderful thing about that is, if you've had, ever owned a steel frame lock or a titanium frame lock flipper, you know that you can put your fingers on that lock bar and it really hinders you from flipping flipping the knife open. Well, not the case on this one. That G10 overlay has really made the difference to where there's not much of the lock bar showing. And so you can put your fingers almost wherever you want without having any trouble deploying it. Whether you are thumb flicking or reverse flicking or you are just doing a regular flipper tab deployment. Whatever you want to do, this knife will do it without letting your fingers really get in the way. So let's talk about the two things that I have a big problem with on this knife. 
Number one is the weight. The weight is 4.98 ounces, almost a full five ounces, which is pretty hefty. So this knife will most likely not be filling your everyday carry roll, unless it's like winter and you're wearing full size pants. Um, this knife will most likely be a work knife, which, I, which is fine with me. I really like it for a work knife. It has good ergonomics, everything like that. And it's got, you know, it's specced well for a work knife, so I like it. And now let's talk about what I think is the worst part of this knife, and that's the price. This knife is coming in at 105. 105 for a Civivi. Now, I know like you can't really equate price to brand, but Civivi has given us some of the best budget knives we've seen on the market to date. And now they're coming out with something for this price. It's a little hard to swallow, you know? But okay, so maybe maybe it's worth it. Maybe the materials are worth it. Well, it's Nitro V and stainless steel. I mean, in my opinion, for $105, that's a little steep. I mean, I, I really like it, don't get me wrong. I think this is actually one of the best designs Civivi has come out with in a long time. I really like it, but it seems to me like 105 is way too steep for this. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Is the Civivi Terax worth it? Well, it's really one of those it depends kind of things. If you really like the design, you're okay with the materials that you get for the money, yeah, go for it. If you know you want it, you won't be disappointed. But if you're kind of iffy on it and you're not sure if it's the knife for you, I would look somewhere else. Look elsewhere to see where you could spend that $105 because you can get much better for $105. You can also get much worse, but you can get much better. So don't just settle here. Look around a little bit, see what else you can get. And if you come back to this, that's fine. This is a really good design, really well made. I think it's going to be an amazing work knife and an amazing everyday carry if your pants will support it, but for $105 that's just a little too steep for me personally. So I guess the moral of the story is if you like it enough to get it, go get it. You won't be disappointed. It's a great design. It's very well made. I'm really impressed with it, but if you're iffy on it, I would wait and see what else your money could get you. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. At 500 subscribers, we're going to be doing a pretty big giveaway, like $250 worth of knives. So, the faster you get us to 500 subscribers, the faster we do the giveaway. So, please hit subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. See you next time.